So ladies and gentlemen, in our latest John Walco uh, request uh, for us to look at different horror and thriller movies of the 50s and 60s is something that we call Gallery of Horrors. Now, according to our research and John research, is also called Dr. Terror's Gallery of Horrors. Came in and out in 1967. Now, according to John and other people who research these type of movies, it's a very low budget uh, film that looks like they use high school props in the film. Uh, and uh, it includes many, many stories, uh, some of them, uh, and the majority of them, of course, featured by John Carradine's intros. Now, John wanted to know if the movie made a uh, profit back in the day. Now, uh, because of box office bo bo and other uh, I don't know exactly how far uh, those types of uh, web, uh, what do you call it, web information would be, uh, would go back, but uh, the the old problem with this is in IMDb only gets 3.4 out of out of 10, and uh, like I said, uh, I the beholder. Now, this color scope movie in, uh, anthology film was uh, created by David L. Hewitt, uh, and uh, again, all the money's on the screen with stories by Russ Jones. The film includes footage from Roger Corman's Edgar Allan Poe adaptations and the similarity of its title to the amicus mentions it, Dr. Terry's House of Horrors, led to numerous enforced title changes, including, get this, Return from the Past, The Bloodsuckers, Alien Massacre, and most commonly Gallery of Horror on screen, and Gallery of Horrors on the packaging. It has also been released as The Witch's Clock after the first story, and the only one to feature again star John Carradine who hosts the interstitial segments. It also stars uh, some some big uh, B actors like Lon Chaney Jr., Rochelle Hudson, Roger Gentry, and Vic McGee. The other stories include King Vampire, Monster Raid, Spark of Life, uh, and Count Alucard, which of course is Dracula backward, which is credited as Count Dracula. In the latter story, Jonathan Harker, one of several roles played by Gentry, is revealed in a humorous twist to be a... Uh, oh! Werewolf, proclaimed by the film's posters as being the world's weirdest movie. And if you look at the piss, uh, the poster, so shocking it would sh sliver your liver. Nothing like this in all the history of horror. A double fright. We dare you see the bloodsuckers plus the second feature, the liver eaters. Warning the most gruesome horror ever shown. Not for people who faint easily. Again, directed by David L. Hewitt, Gary uh, R. Heck Heacock, or Haycock, Russ Jones, and David Prentiss as writers, produced by Hewitt, again starring Joey Benson, John Carradine, and Lon Chaney Jr., with cinematography by Austra Austin McKinney, edited by Tim Hinkle, uh, again released in 67 with uh, the, uh, the, the reaction to uh, the, the country as the United States. Now, the uh, Dr. Ter Terror's Gallery of Horrors, uh, some information of the movie has that uh, John had to learn that's the right direction. He has a multiple, uh, multiple title given him. Now, according to, to what uh, I am the explanation of the movie, uh, the movie itself didn't really reach the audience that it was. Now, in a published interview, Writer Russ Jones related that director of photography Austin McKinney was struck on the head by a large uh, piece of set lumber, knocked unconscious. Upon regaining consciousness, he continued working despite a bleeding head wound. And this was played up in some of the articles at the time that, you know, it almost killed one of the writers. Now, writer producer Russ Jones did double duty as an actor due to the unexpected absence of the one that didn't show up. As in London, the killed by the mob and the King Vampire, and the resurrected corpse of Charles and Monster Raid, even doing his own gruesome makeup. Now, it was the final film of Rochelle Hudson, and the uncredited actress playing Miss Clark, the secretary in King Vampire, was then married to co-star Ron Doyle. Now, the film was itself was shot in five days, and the director David Hewitt cribbed much of the music uh, for the uh, movie from the 1960 Allied Artist release, The Hypnotic Eye. Again, the five segments, <coughs> The Witch's Clock, King Vampire, Monster Raid, Spark of Life, and Count Alucard. And um, if you 
if you look how many points was given for each each segment, it's uh, point uh, uh, point uh, seven. But I don't have point for me. Now, uh, according again to uh, IMDb, uh, it, it was filmed at Hollywood Stage, two eight one five West Sunset Boulevard, in Hollywood, uh, over that uh, the week. And again, uh, I don't have a budget that would, miss, but the polls are online. If you can find Betty Polls uh, White. And the other one in color, it's quite, uh, it's quite interesting. I would, I would say if you can find this as a, in a markdown uh, movie collectible shop to pick it up, because it's, it's not really a color poster, it's like a four color, and, uh, you know, what, <laughs> what you see is what you get. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks a lot to John for this request. We always appreciate his time in giving us a, a challenge to find out <laughs> some, some, some of the lost non-classics. If you like what you're doing here, ladies and gentlemen, give us a like, comment, or subscribe. And don't forget, requests are always appreciated and always highly considered. Thanks for listening. Have a good one. Bye.